Hi Libra, welcome to your general love reading for March 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, which is perfectly okay. You can, however, check out one of your other signs if you want, or you can book a personal reading to get more specific information. You can find all that information in the description box below this video. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed in this reading because it is general. All right, so let's see. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What is going on for you? First couple weeks of March. All right, so starting off, we have the Hermit crossed by the Ace of Swords. Okay, so it feels like there's a distance between you and another person. I do feel like there's a lot of deep healing that is happening. Um, there, somebody does want to take some action, though, right, with this Ace of Swords, based on their truth. Um, but that seems to be the challenge at the moment, is actually acting on whatever it is that is being healed, on whatever it is that either you or the other person is discovering from within and actually bringing that out and taking action on it. Let's see, for you, we have the Queen of Swords. That's you, your element right there. The Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. All right, Libra, it looks like you're, okay, you're standing in your power here. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of deep healing for you as well. It also comes in as you possibly kind of being a little bit undecided um, in terms of your stance towards this person. Like there's a part of you that wants to be a little bit more um, shut off from this person, a little bit more distant, a little bit more cold. And then there's this other side of you that's very nurturing. You feel a lot of um, compassion and nurturance for this person. And so that could make it a little bit challenging for you. Let's see for them. All right, we have the Tower, the Seven of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. Ooh, what is going on here with them? They're definitely going through something really big at the moment. Whatever this is, they're going through a really difficult time at the moment. Really, really difficult. Um, something is um, shattering almost to them. Either in the, concerning the connection with you or possibly just concerning their lives overall. And I feel like whatever this is, it's like they're really trying to fight against it. We'll see more when we clarify. Whatever the case though, this person is definitely moving forward. Whatever this tower is, um, it's creating this momentum where it's just really driving this person forward in the direction that they are meant to go in, in the direction that is meant for them. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the three of wands. Yeah, something is being set into motion. It is taking time. Like, I feel like things are happening fast, but then it's like whatever the, the end result of all of this is, that is taking a little bit of time to like fully come in. However, I, I feel like this was like a huge milestone, this tower that needs to happen here. And that is what is setting everything else into motion. So let's clarify. Let's see the hermit, All right? That's Virgo energy. So yeah, clarifying the Hermit together with the Ace of Swords. And we have the Ten of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Two of Swords. All right. A lot of love here. This is a very loving connection and there's a lot of pain attached to this connection. Um, and I feel like that this pain <clears throat> that I'm getting with this Five of Cups um, is because there has been this distance between the two of you. Someone has pulled away here. I'm, I'm, again, I'm not sure it's either you or them. It, it doesn't really matter. But whatever the case, there's, there's sorrow, there's grief concerning this aloneness, this distance between the two of you. And it feels like, I, I feel like you both don't really know what to do about it. 
you both don't really know what to do about it and so you're both not really um, taking action at all towards each other. I do see this person actually beginning to take more steps towards you. I feel like you're just kind of in this mode of, yeah, you know, I want to keep my distance. I do care about them, but ultimately you're keeping your distance. All right, let's see that Queen of Swords for you. The Sun and Strength. Wow, okay, strong Leo. <clears throat> Some of you might be dealing with the Leo or you might have um, Leo in your charts because it's showing up very strongly here now. Okay, so I actually feel like what, what you're deciding to do, even though it feels very difficult for you to do what it is that you're deciding to do, that is actually... Um, what is best for you. So if you're leaning more towards a particular side in a decision here, yes, trust your intuition, even if it's hard, all right? That's why we have strength here because doing so, and I feel like that what it is is keeping your distance. Doing so, it's difficult for you. It takes a lot of strength for you to do that. But ultimately, that is what your gut is telling you. And that is actually empowering you. Let's see the Two of Pentacles. Ooh, the Emperor and the Ace of Wands. Wow, Libra. <laughs> You're really doing your work here. You're really doing your work. Um, again, it's like, it is difficult because I feel like, you know, you... You do obviously have emotions for this person. For a lot of you, you might be seeing this person as, you know, the, your person, basically. The person you want to be with. The person that, you know, you would want to have a fresh new start with. And so this makes it all the more difficult. However, you're managing. You're managing. You're finding your balance through, through these difficult energies is what I'm seeing here. Let's see the Queen of Pentacles. Three of Wands and the world. I feel like you're just, you're really accomplishing something that you're setting into motion right now. Concerning your own self. It, it feels like you are finding like a new sense of self-integrity, self-respect, and again, even though it's hard, like sometimes, you know, you want to do things that you feel might be compromising that you're staying strong, you're staying strong through this. And I feel like even so, it's not that you're not listening to your guidance. It's not like, oh, you know, you're feeling like you want to do something and you're holding back from it. That's not what I mean by strength. It's more of really just having a sense of control over your own self for what it is that you do feel like you're being guided towards. And I feel like even though, you know, this is a connection that you still have emotions for and that you still feel so much care for this person, it feels like you're, it's like you have that door open here. But at the same time, not in the same way as, as before. There's some kind of a completion here that you have accomplished or that you are accomplishing. And again, it's taking strength. It's taking strength to do that. But you are doing it. So let's see for this person here because I feel like their energy is quite opposite to yours. So let's see the tower, the two of cups and the seven of swords. Okay, so obviously this person has avoided um, this connection or has tried to just turn their back to, to love basically, to something that they were feeling. And that's backfiring. That's what's creating this tower. So I don't know exactly what's going on for each of them. It's going to be different, but um, them having turned their back to love, having snuck away from it, or for some of them even having done something that may have been a little bit shady. 
it's creating that tower. And for some of them, especially if, if, um, if this is a person who may have been deceitful in the past in one way or another, I'm getting that with this Five of Cups, you know, that's the guilt. They're feeling guilt about that. And because that guilt is coming to the surface, they're having this tower moment. Let's see the Seven of Wands. The Page of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So they're a little bit guarded right now, um, and it makes sense, all right? They're going through this tower, they're going through a crisis, basically. And so it's like they're... I feel like they're fighting with their own self here. They're fighting with that tower. Almost like it's a little difficult for them to accept that. But there is, again, it's like there's this um, progress that is happening because of that tower. It's forcing them to fight for something. And for a lot of them, I'm getting that this is something to do with their material world. And it, I feel like they actually want to do this on their own. Um, I feel like for some of them, there might be... You know, it's like they might have some available resources to help them through this, whether that be friends or, I don't know, therapists or something, something else that just isn't coming to mind. It could be anything in the material world. But I feel like they're actually pushing that away in order to work on this on their own selves because they feel like that's the way that they will find stability. Hmm. Okay, let's see the Eight of Wands. The Nine of Cups and the Ace of Swords showing up again. Okay, good. Because that Ace of Swords was the challenge here. So I do feel like this main energy here, the main situation that I was talking about in the beginning, is in reference to the other person, okay, in, in this reading. Unless the roles are reversed, of course. This tower moment is actually creating a drive for this person to move towards their wish fulfillment, to move towards what it is that makes them happy, to move towards love, right? Which is, that is what they had turned their backs to. So this is the progression here. And so this is actually taking some action, taking those steps, moving forward, finding their truth, of what it is that really fulfills them and moving in that direction. So this can come in as communication for a lot of you. And again, it's this tower that is creating all of this, this crisis. I do feel like it is attached to some regret from the past, which is like, for whatever reason, showing up now in their lives and making them rethink everything. All right, so let's see the Three of Wands for the potential outcome. And we have the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like the first step here, what that's going to happen, like kind of like the first phase after this tower with this person is that there is some kind of an interaction here, all right? That's that's actually pretty clear with this, with the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Swords and now the Three of Pentacles. There is some kind of an interaction here, but I feel like it's going to be small because with the Three of Wands, it's indicating that there's still a way to go. It's not like 100% um, together, right? Whatever that plan is. So there's some kind of an interaction here as in exploring options, exploring alternatives, possibly discussing certain alter alternatives. For some of you, this might even be work-related, like um, a collaboration to work on a project together. Or if it's not work, it could be, yeah, you know what, let's do this together or let's try to maintain a friendship or something like that. Whatever it is though, it's moving towards this Ten of Pentacles, towards something more stable, something more long-term, something more secure. 
but I feel like this is like that first phase where it's just the foundation is what is being built. But again, that's coming after this tower has been processed by the other person. All right, Libra. If this resonated, let's see the final message for you. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did. And we have the Cardinal Moon. Be bold and make the first move. And um, of course, take this for your own self if this resonates with you. I feel like this is about the other person, that they are the ones who are going to make that first move. And basically that that's what this tower is pushing them to do, to make that first move for that interaction. Because I do see them taking action and um, initiating some kind of communication with you if you're not in communication. And if you are in communication, it could be initiating communication about a specific issue here that needs to be addressed. All right, Libra, those are your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.